Hi, my name is Brent Dean, and I'm our product engineer for our Persian Pressurization Systems. Today I'm going to show you how to utilize our online configuration tool for our Persian Pressurization Systems. So let's get started. Now the first step is to go to www.pepperell-fuchs.com, and that will redirect you to our U.S. webpage. And once you're on our U.S. webpage, you can go under the Process Interfaces and click on this Products tab. Once you click on the Products tab, on the left-hand side of the screen, uh, there's a green bar that says Process Interfaces. Under the Interfaces, you'll find our Purge and Pressurization Systems tab. Click that. Once you click that, it'll take you to our Purge and Pressurization Systems page. And on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll find Build Your Purge System. This is our configuration tool. Click on the link. Now this is our configuration tool homepage. At the top, you'll just see your cart. Right now we haven't created any items yet, so that's at zero. And then it starts you right at step one. Now step one, it says select your hazardous area classification. If you wouldn't understand what any of these titles would mean throughout the steps, you can always click on this What's This tab. Let's just click on that so I can show you what this is. It'll go through and describe each of the steps. So as for step one, it says select your hazardous area classification. Now, the area classifications are used to define the explosive or ignitable substances that are present in the atmosphere. For instance, gas, class one or zone one, dust, class two, zone 21 or 22, gas and dust, or general purpose. Now, let's go back to the configuration tool homepage by clicking on this return to build your systems link. So now that we know and understand what the select your hazardous area classification is, let's select gas. Well, let's just say that we're in a gas hazardous location. Then step two, now you're going to select the division or zone of the area that you're in. For this example, we're going to be in division one. Now that we know what hazardous location that we're in, we're going to select the rating of the equipment that we're going to be placing inside of the enclosure that we're going to pressurize. So if you have um, either Division 2 mountable equipment or general purpose equipment going inside of your enclosure, this is where you'll make your selection. For this example, we're going to use general purpose equipment. So now we have select the group outside of your enclosure. Now what this means is the gas group that you're actually going to be locating this enclosure in. For instance, A, B, C, or D, or gas group C and D. For this example, I'm going to say that we're in a uh, hazardous location that contains hydrogen, which is gas group B. So I'm going to select this A, B, C, and D tab. How big is the uh, enclosure that you're going to be purging? This is where we select the volume. As this, for this example, the only selection that we can make based on our previous choices, we can select an enclosure up to 250 cubic feet. Now, it's going to give us the, our options on what models that we can actually select based on our previous entries. And for this example, the only model that we can select is our 6000. Select your pressure switch style. With our 6000, it's a fully automated system. It comes with a pressure switch inside the actual system itself. So it's going to say no switch. You do not need an extra switch with the system. Now, selecting your power control mode voltage, you can either select 20 to 30 volts DC or 90 to 255 volts AC. For this example, I'm going to say that I have 24 volts DC present for my system. Now we're going to select the mounting configuration for the, for the purge system itself. With our 6000, there are three options. You can get a component kit. You can get uh, the WH option, which is our stainless steel housing, and it has a universal mount, which basically means that you can mount it on the left hand, right hand, top or bottom of the enclosure based on whatever preference that you have. And also, you can get an XE option. Now what this is, is our stainless steel housing that has EXE terminals on the housing as well. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use our stainless steel housing universal mount option. Now, do we have a vortex cooler? For this example, I'm going to say no. Now we're going to select the vent configuration. With this system, there are two options. There's an anodized aluminum option that has a spark arrestor, 
or we also have an anodized aluminum vent that has a stainless steel cap and it also has a spark arrestor. We're going to go with the stainless steel model. Do we want an enclosure kit? With this system, there is no enclosure kit. On some systems that you could go through here and generate, there might be an enclosure kit option where you would say yes or no, and then you can select your option from there. But for this example, there is no enclosure kit. Now that we're done, we've made all of our selections, click the continue button. Now at the top, you'll see the part number for the model that the configurator generated for you. And on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see our EPV-6000, which is our anodized aluminum vent that has the stainless steel cap. Now over here, you can either add another item or request a quote. Let's pick request a quote. Once you select request a quote, it'll bring you to the screen where you have to enter your information. So I'm gonna go through and enter my information for the example. Once you've entered your information, click the continue button. Once you click the continue button, after you enter your information, it's going to bring you to a confirmation page. This is basically just saying, thank you for requesting a quote, and you'll be contacted by Pepperell and Fuchs and what business day regarding your quote. At this point, you've finished using the configuration tool. Now, if you just click close this window, it'll bring you back to our Persian pressurization systems page. If you would like, you can go back over and build another model continue browsing our website for further information. If you would have any questions, you can click on this link right up here to contact customer service or uh, contact our tech support and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at any time.